Hello everyone, this is Nick Nevin, the Witch of Sea Cliff. I hope you're all doing well tonight. So, tonight is the full moon in Pisces. Uh, this is a little bit dramatic for us water signs <laughs> because it gives us that extra water energy which can be very deeply emotional diving through the depths of our feelings, but that's for everyone. But if you're a water sign, it's a, it's a little bit harsh <laughs> to have to, you know, go to these extreme depths of emotion at this time. But it's also very good for a person. It's very cathartic. Now, the reason I'm posting tonight is I'm doing... Um, a, a spell and it is for love but what I first have to do is I'm releasing the energy of the past what came before I'm pushing this all out for this person tonight and I feel it, it's appropriate because it's such an emotional moon I got to see a glimpse of the moon tonight, but unfortunately it rained the rest of the night. So here I am inside at a very small altar. But the altar is very significant. And it's significant um, in many ways, but the, the major significance here is back there. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can't see him very well because he's painted in black and red, and it's a coconut painted in black and red for Alegua. And this is her spirit guardian. Now, I personally don't work with Alegua, but if you don't work with a spirit, that doesn't mean you can't give offerings or appreciate them. So how I see this, I'm not appropriating anybody's um, religion or magic. What, I, what I'm doing is as if I was coming um, to your home and your parents invited me over, your mother invited me over, uh, what would I do if I got invited over for dinner? I would bring your parents or your mother or whoever, or maybe some flowers, maybe a dessert, maybe a bottle of wine. You know, that's what we do with people. So why wouldn't we do this with spirits? And I'm asking her spirit, her guardian, not to do the spell for me because I have my own spirits, I have my own deities that I work with. But I'm asking her spirit. I wish you could see. Maybe I could get a little closer. I don't want to offend anybody with my terrible artwork, but, um, well, yeah, it was, looks pretty bad. <laughs> it's really not as bad as it looks. Um, it's just the way the light's catching it. But um, it's made with red and black, and I have some black beads and red beads around it. Um, and I have the cowrie shells around this coconut shell that I painted for Elegua. And um, behind Elegua is my um, protector um, that I created. That's a protector spirit there. So don't be alarmed <laughs> by what you see here. It's nothing bad or harmful. Um, but we need protection when we do any kind of um, spiritual working. So for my client, I definitely wanted to connect and give offerings to her guardian. Uh, her guardian, uh, she considers him an angel. Now she sees him in the papa, in the older form of uh, uh, papa elegua. But I see him in the younger form. I see him as the child spirit. So I've combined both. I gave him the coconut and the adult sort of offerings. There's bananas back there. Um, and then I gave him the child offerings, 
which is kind of like junk food. I gave him some donuts, some cookies back in the little striped cup back there. And um, I gave him toys on the altar in between. This is uh, a triangle of candles here regarding that candle. That's just to light the room right now. But I have toys. I have feathers, I have marbles, I have a tiger spirit, because uh, Eligua is a warrior spirit. So even though he comes up, um, can come in forms as a trickster or as a child spirit, you know, in sort of a joking way, um, being lighthearted, He's also a warrior, so you have to pay him respect. So I have the flowers there for Bast, but I also have the flowers, um, you know, just to give adult offerings. I also gave him some um, rum. There's a little bottle of rum there. And the child part of him, I've given a cupcake, donuts, cookies, toys. And I, you know, I thought I made his... His coconut looks really cute to me, but it doesn't look very cute on screen. <laughs> um, he looks a little scary, but I think it's just, it's catching. It's hard to paint on a coconut, actually, but it's catching um, the light in weird ways, so he looks distorted. He's not as distorted as this. It's just the way the light is picking up the color. But I always um, paint... I like to paint the coconuts when they are offerings for spirits. They like that, especially if you use their colors or try to give them an image of them. That's an offering to them. You're honoring them. Although this is not uh, Eligua, this is um, just a funny little coconut. <laughs> That's all. So right now, Sorry, the camera's shaky. I have my very um, low-tech way of making videos. <laughs> Sorry about that, but that's the way I roll. Sorry if I made you seasick. So, um, yeah, I have a lot going on here. This is just the part that I want um, my client to see. Um, I'm going to go outside under the moonlight. Even though it was raining, it stopped raining. I could do it inside, but I'm not going to because I like to do as much as I can outside under the moonlight, under the actual moonlight. But for the, the video here, I'm just going to light my candles. And I have them in a, a triangle. Triangles are very protective. I have protective elements around the plate. I wrote the petition actually right on the plate, how I like to do, um, in a, a black Sharpie marker, which comes off very easily with Florida water or some kind of alcohol wipe. I have feathers, toys, shells, stones, um, herbs that are meaningful and the colors that are meaningful even though black and red are Allegra's colors for a, an opening of roads um, into love. I'm using yellow here as a road opener, a pink for romance, new love coming in, and a deep uh, not deep, but a, a lavender color for spirituality. And um, higher, higher beings coming in for my client. So I'm going to light them right now. And I'm going to light them in that order. I ask my goddess and my spirits and Elegua to look upon this spell for communication, for intelligence, to bring my client a match of intelligence for my client, for romance, and for higher spirituality. 
from my client. Oh, beautiful. I have, um, they're not Black Eyed Susan, so I forget what they're called, but, um, they're Echinacea. I forget what the flower's called, but I have, they're not quite Echinacea, they're, they're a hybrid. And I have um, some zinnias there in the bowl. And that is like oranges and reds are very good for communication, for passion, vibrancy, um, and also like a clearing out. Also, like I'm going to be spraying some certain sprays and things to get rid of past influences and negativity because I see that around my client that there has been um, some hardship there and there is negative influence and it's nothing to be afraid about. It's just something that I need to clear out that I will do privately. Um, I've already begun work on this um, for the past few days because uh, Eligua is, um, his day for offerings is Monday and but I wanted to do the full moon spell for my client. The next thing I have here, um, if you can see down here, probably not, I'll lift it up. I have um, what is known as a poppet. And it's in red and black. Let's see if I can get a close up here. Um, it's red and black. It has Spanish moss inside it to hold the energy. And I have, have pinned it with onion skins. And this is for my client's protection. This is nothing harmful. It's white beads for uh, purity, onion skins for cleansing. And I also tied around um, the black string for protection and the red cloth is for passion and desires. And I also use some bakery string, which I love to use. It's very useful and actually very powerful. It's red and white striped bakery string. <laughs> it's amazingly powerful. If you can get some, I would recommend to go to the bakery every Sunday and get yourself some or just buy some. But it's fun to get uh, a pastry as well. So I have also tied um, this poppet because what I'm tying, what I tied is somebody else's influence. So they have a passionate power over my client. So the red is their power over my client and the white is to purify. And what I'm going to do is cut these strings off of the poppet and I will take the pins out and then I will um, put the pins through some incense. And some of my incense went out here. Let me see if I can get, get a little incense going. So I had a lot of incense burning tonight before. I mean, I've been doing work on, on this client for a few days. Oops, this is a little um, Roadrunner. It's a little Roadrunner pen to make the work go extra fast. And these are just some incense. I burned a lot of incense tonight for this to get rid of that um, negative energy, the poor energy. Um, what I feel like is something that's been thrown on her and I want to remove it. I'm not making the sign of the cross. In case you're wondering, oops, I blew up the camera. No worries there. I was trying to blow out this. There we go. I don't get all freaked out when a candle goes out. Just in case you all are getting crazy that, you know. 
I blow out my candle. I don't normally blow out candles, but, you know, it happens. Stuff happens. And you have to go with the flow when you're doing this type of work. If you're going to get all persnickety, you're never going to get through a ritual, and especially a video. So this is just for my video. This is not the ritual, but I like to do a mini ritual where my client can see what I'm up to. And since it's a full moon in Pisces, and I'm only on 15 minutes, I'm going to read my petition. And like my last video, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I should have taken that down, but I thought, you know what? Um, I cried in the last video. It's embarrassing that I can get so emotional and so stupid sometimes. But it, then I thought, no, it's not stupid. It's very chaotic times. And um, we need to shed our emotions. We need to release our emotions. And if it comes through tears, sometimes it comes through anger. We need to release our emotions. And sometimes when you watch somebody else cry, it will bring at the emotions in you. Sometimes when you watch a video, it will bring tears to your eyes. It will bring out those emotions and give you uh, a cathartic feeling. I know most people, we're all not comfortable with people crying in front of us. We're not comfortable with a lot of things. And uh, you don't have to be. I'm not trying to um, create this big emotional world, but, you know, I was laughing with a friend of mine, and I'm like, well, that's something that I can do. <laughs> so if I can um, bring out the emotions and have, um, have you shed some tears that will be a release for you, then I'm happy to do it and I'm not ashamed. So that's why I kept that kind of silly video up. And now I'm gonna do something else that you may think is silly, but I write poetry, I write, and this isn't poetry, but uh, it has deep emotions and feelings about how I perceive my client. So I'll just read it, it's brief. So how I perceive you, and I won't mention names. I feel your energy. I feel your energy as stars that have fallen down from the heavens upon the sandy soft loam under the moonlight tonight. I feel your compassion that great compassion that you give to all, those who hurt, those who are in need. I feel that dedication of compassion and love poured over your friends and acquaintances. I feel the struggle of the years of being positive, keeping a sunny smile upon your mouth when it desires to scream out, see me. I see you. I see you working hard, perfecting every note, every line. I hear the doubt that crosses your mind every so often. You only open the door for that doubt, just a smidgen. And God or goddess, I have kept the faith. Now it's, it's your turn. I have faith alone and I'm keeping faith company they say that God never gives us more than we can handle. Well, God 
I've been like a steel beam in the handling. I know I can't complain. I know my ancestors have been through rougher times. They paved this path for me. And upon this night, so this is me speaking now, upon this night, this beautiful moon in Pisces that was so moody, mystical, there was a fog, a beautiful, low, floating fog around here. So upon this night, I call out to Grandmother Moon. Now this is my spirituality, Grandmother Moon. And I ask you tonight, I call upon you to release, release, release. Release the negativity, release the shackles of pain, the hardship that my client has been through. And I'm asking Grandmother Moon that you imbue my client with strength, fortitude to keep going and to be that shining bright light of passion, the flame, her perfect perception of herself, the perfect confident person she is. And so she accepts the higher person for her now, the person who's been waiting for her to come into their life. And so I will be burning this petition into the big cauldron outside because it's, it's pretty clear now, but I don't want to bring the camera out. And we're on 22 minutes now. So I hope um, you enjoyed this little uh, altar here and perhaps you got a little bit of information on how to create a little bit of a spell, a spell work had a call on um, an Orisha or a spirit to help you, even though the Orisha was not helping me. My spirits are going to help me now, but I gladly accept any assistance from the Orisha, who is the guardian for my client. And I wish you all great blessings and peace tonight on this beautiful full moon in Pisces. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.